Yo, what's up YouTube? My name is Ransom here with a real quick tutorial. Uh, just wanted to show you guys how you can get audio from your phone and directly record it into Logic Pro X um, with a pretty much perfect replica of the sound without any issues and it's um, actually a really quick way to import voice memos or record samples from YouTube that you're messing around on your phone with. Um, it, it's useful for a lot of things. Getting uh, TikTok sounds if you want to use something like that, uh, it could be useful for multiple things. I mean, really just any audio that comes out of your phone, you can record into Logic directly. And it's really, really easy. So let me show you guys how to do this. First, of course, you're going to need a, a MacBook or some type of Apple computer. You're going to need a iPhone. And you're going to need your iPhone cable to plug in via USB into your computer. So once you have those uh, set up, the first thing you're going to do is obviously uh, plug in your phone to your computer and that should pop up um, next step once you got your uh, phone plugged into the computer we are gonna go to our audio MIDI audio MIDI setup um, in order to get there you can go to finder and you can come to applications and it's gonna be in utilities so with uh, utilities folder and it should be right here audio MIDI setup so open that and once you get that open you're gonna notice here uh, you can see ransoms iPhone so you, I got my iPhone plugged in and there's a little enable button there so if you click your phone there you can read here press the enable button to place your iOS device and enter device audio and MIDI mode so basically what we're gonna do we're gonna hit enable and what that's going to do is basically put your phone as an output and your your uh, charger is a direct input for your phone. So now that we have that set up, we can go into Logic. Um, I'm just going to make a new session here, a blank session with an audio file. And uh, okay, here we are. So first step for this part is uh, we need to go up to the preferences so logic pro preferences and we're gonna go to the audio tab and in this tab this is where everything's gonna be important uh, to check out so uh, sorry about that if you heard something weird uh, we are gonna make sure that our output device is set to whatever we want but the input device is gonna be set to our iPhone so that is going to allow us to uh, you know hear everything coming out of the iPhone so we'll click iPhone for the input and we'll hit apply and now if you open your phone and you go to let's say YouTube or it could be literally anything that has audio I just have like a sample of audio here so I am you guys won't hear anything when I play this just because of the way I have everything routed up um, and I don't want to copyright strike because I'm gonna play a YouTube video but uh, yeah, once we have that set up, we can come to our input here on the on the channel and make sure that um, you can hit X on your keyboard to open the mixer. And then for the input here, we need to make sure that that is set to input one and two. And once you got that, um, you can click uh, the I button here next to the track. I'm gonna click X again to close that. You can click the I button next to the track to monitor your signal coming in. If you don't have the eye, you can right click, come down to track header components and click on um, input monitoring and that'll give you the eye. So um, if you click play on the on your phone and start playing, you can see I'm getting that signal in here. And now all I have to do is uh, make sure my track is armed and I could record this right now just by hitting the letter R and this audio is getting recorded directly into my into Logic Pro X directly from my phone. So it's pretty cool stuff. Um, if you guys learned something, please hit the like and go ahead and subscribe. Hope you guys are having a great day. Rock and roll. Peace out.